Hello YouTube and welcome back to this playlist on how to set up an objective mission, a kill mission to be more precise, with a few weapons and a player character. At this point, if you've got the 2D image, grab it where you've saved it to, like we did in the last video with Photoshop. Don't worry, we'll be giving a tutorial on how to do it with a free software, image editing software called GIMP. And if it's done right, it should be the gun model with a light blue background. That means it's translucent, it won't be shown. I mean, double click on it, it looks like that. That's all that appears, the gun model. So we'll save that. Now what you want to do, go into your weapon component folder. Which is this one down here. Then to blueprints. And what we want to do, is we want to double click on this data table, DT weapons. I'm not going to be using that 2D image, I'm going to make the AR85. So what we would do, say you've got the image for that and the model. I will provide a link in the description at some point in this video at where to get the AR85 model from. So we'll go to add new row, double click on add. We'll name the row, we've already got AR85. I'll tell you what I'll do. No, I'll leave that alone. I'll call it AR85 space hyphen space assault rifle. Sorry, we shouldn't have spaces in the row name. If you want to have a space, put an underscore. So right, when we name the weapon, we can have spaces. This is a row name, so we need underscores and no special characters. Underscores if you want spaces, but no special characters like ampersands or exclamation marks or anything like that. So we've got that. Remember that? Right click on the name and copy it. We need that for later on. Then we come down to default weapon name. You can have spaces in there. This is what will show up on the weapon in the game. We'll, click, we'll just delete these underscores. Then weapon type, since we're having a rifle, we want to set to rifle, you've got rifle, shotgun and pistol. Basically that just sets the animation style of whatever weapon he's holding. If you want rocket launcher or grenade launcher, I suggest you use shotgun. But if you want rocket launcher, use rifle and for pistols, use pistol. So we want a rifle, then choose the weapon image. I've already got one called AR85 that I made, so I'm having AR85 and it's this top one. As you can see, that's the weapon model I previously made. Then we look for its skeletal mesh. We can just type in AR85. And we want the X one. Then that's the weapon. Then bullets in short. How many rounds does it fire per mouse click? We want one bullet. It's, quite, it's going to be a good gun. So we'll choose for rate by 1000. That's quite quick. Then max ammo in mag. How many rounds you can hold in your mag? We'll choose 35 and a max ammo amount of say 500 just for demonstration purposes you might want different for your full game then rounds in burst you don't have to have this set but you can set the number if you want we'll have, we'll have five rounds in burst so if the mouse is pressed and held down it'll fire five rounds before it stops before we have to press the mouse again then i'll have jam risk it's best to have it on 0, 0 something and it has single shot we've got to take so we can do single shot with it probably want has full auto mode checked as well you can do this with any of the weapons. If it has burst mode, if that's checked, it will then do up here, look, rounds in burst five, but if that's unchecked, don't worry about five, it won't do it because it hasn't been enabled. Then you've got weapon spread. A good one for assault rifle is probably 1.5 and about three for a shotgun and about 0.75 for a pistol and about one for a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher. Bullet min damage for a rifle, probably want to do a minimum damage of 15 and then go range from anywhere, bullet max damage range from anywhere from 15 say 30 critical multiply basically that sets how much it will multiply by when they get critical hits we'll put ours on ridiculous like something good like 15 then the chance of that happening is on 0 0.3 we'll put it on a 5 so it's quite a high chance of it happening and bullet speed how fast the bullet travels because it's a projectile we want quite fast change it to 17,500 bullets can ricochet that's up to you some certain guns might rig the bullets might ricochet and they've got a chance of hitting your enemies so keep it on for assault rifles, it's good. And then you've got projectile. BPA projectile type is what you want for every gun except for uh, grenade launchers, homing missiles, lasers, lightning rocket or stick. But for everything else you want a parent projectile for assault rifles and shotguns and pistols. Cross air in it. I'll provide these as well, so let's see the link, the link will be in the description. So if you go to our content browser, click on this one, 100 plus crosshair pack, go into textures, crosshairs, look for a suitable text that's an assault rifle. So we'll choose this one, right click on the icon, click on rename, then 
press control I to highlight it, press control and C to copy it, then don't change them, just leave it as it is, click off it, then load up your weapon component data table again, go into Corsair images and since you've copied it just control and V in the search box to paste it in, then you don't even want to search stock, so we want that one, there you go, and then the muzzle flash effect, we can probably type in something like rifle, we copied, so we want that one, there you go, and then the muzzle flash effect, we can probably type in something like rifle, and we'll have this one, then fire sound, when you've got the sounds you want, right click on it, which is rename, just to get the file reference, press control and C to copy, then load back up your data table, go to fire sound, and then we've got reduce accuracy while I'm moving, we'll put it on 1.75 for assault rifles, and then to get the weapon shooting animation, you'll have it in your weapons component folder, so if you can't find it here, you look for your weapons component and look for it, you want weapon shooting animation, we'll just type in rifle, and then we'll press control and copy that so we can paste it in a minute, then look for the rifle called military weapon dark weapon arms, click on that, it should work, and then for character reload animation, just type in reload, and we want A and reload, and for equip animation, just type in equip, press control to A to select all, press control and C to copy it, and then equip, we want AM equip rifle under weapon component, there we go, and for unequip animation, since we copy and pasted equip, we just paste that in the search box, then we look for AM unequip rifle, which is this one, this is weapon component, that's that done, then recall up minimum, you probably want a small number like 0 0.65 for assault rifles, and then maximum of that you probably want about a 1.5, if you put a minus value in, it will do it to the left, we'll have a right value, we won't put the minus sign in, then we'll do something like 0 0.521, 0.90. Don't worry about the zoom bio, it's not doing the sniper scope, so you can leave the sniper scope image alone, leave range fire window alone, and then put experimental enable weapon camera, if you have second mile spot by default, whatever you set up to, it'll go first person, and to get the first person right, it takes a bit of guesswork, it's called this enable weapon camera offset, if you want it just above the barrel and set back a bit, set the Z to something like 19, but if you're trying to get it to the side then down a bit, so it looks like a first person shooter, playing around with these numbers, the X, Y and Z values, and I think we are good to go go that's all done then what you want to do go up to where it says weapon name click in there make sure it's all highlighted by pressing control on a press control on c and we're going to start with the weapon if you want to pick up the weapon somewhere in the game you would then get rid of the rifle off there come down to your weapon component system and there's one weapon you place one blueprint you place down for every weapon and you just select the weapon you want in the blueprint then it'll be there in the game and you pick it up you go on to blueprint and it's this bpa weapon parent what you want to do is you want to right click on it then go to create child blueprint class click on that, leave it alone, it's the same as that, but it says child, and this will be the one per weapon, so you drag this out onto your game, then you make sure it's selected on the details panel, you do, you, if you have auto pick up as on, you just run over it, and when you overlap it, it'll pick it up, if you have it off, you've got to manually pick it up by pressing the interactive key, which is E, drop, on, make sure drop selected, so it's been dropped, weapon stored, then you click on weapon ID in here, and you you click and paste the row name in from the data table that was the exact name of it and it's called oh no wait there that's not right what you want to do then what you want that's not right what you want to do first is go back to data table double click on it with the name up here not this one here, but the, the name of the item that will be shown in game, the name of the row. So double click on it, highlight it by pressing Ctrl and A, then press Ctrl and C to paste that, and then you paste that. Then you paste that into the weapon, so weapon ID. So now that, we that weapon will turn into that weapon. In the editor it still looks like the default weapon, but when you get in the game it will be the weapon you chose. Current. We'll set current ammo in mag, we'll set to 35 in current amount, 500 to match what we had before. Then we'll start on single shot and we'll have no warning. Don't worry about the rest of it. That's all fine, but if you want to start with the weapon, what you would then do is double click on your My Character Blueprint, whatever you have named it. Click, there's a few components add here, but don't worry about them. You'll have a component, click on the add component, custom, and then go you down. probably won't have all these here, but you will have one called AC character weapons. Click on that, then add it down here where it says character weapons. Click on that, go to viewport if you want. Then when you click on the component you just added called character weapons, feel free to rename it whatever you want, but just remember it. Click on there, then where it says initial weapons, it'll look like that, and you'll have one weapon already set there for you. I've created three. You click on array, 
Then you click the top down arrow, you save the thing again, you set the weapon ID to the row name, so it knows what weapon. So you start with that, you put in what you want. So we'll have, a, we'll have just on this one, have 50 rounds in the mag, and we'll have a thousand rounds. We'll start on single shot, hide weapons in holsters so they start hidden until it pulls them out. Disallow pick up of the same weapon. Unless you're doing something with the weapons where you pick up weapons as ammo, if you was doing that, you'd want to uncheck that. But if you want to make it so the player can't pick up the same weapon, you check, check that because I've got ammo. Then the max one weapon limit is 35. We'll just delete this because we're going to actually pick up our weapon. And next, what I'll do is I'll remove this AR-35 from the initial weapons. Otherwise, we won't be able to pick it up. So we'll click on that and delete. We'll just uncheck that for now. Click on compile. Click on save. And as you can see, the rifle's on the floor. If you go and press E, it picks it up. And if we press weapon three, slot three, that's our gun. And as you can see, it's got a 2D image that like created in Photoshop. And it says, I've set the font to the font I like. It's in yellow. And now if you sh as you can see the, the, the hand placement's a bit off but it's forward we set the weapon fix is that about 80 and now it's forward that's good i'll show you how to fix the hand problem click on your weapon component go into animations then go to anbp main blueprint for animation then click on skeleton make sure you're in skeleton tree under search skeleton tree make sure you've got skt typed in click on the handle tree right click I'm going to add preview asset. This is just for the mesh, so you can see what it looks like. Click on, type in AR85, whatever your gun model is. We'll choose the SKAR, we'll choose the SKAR85X. There you go. And that excuse our gun model. We'll click on what's the 85, press Ctrl and C to copy because we've got to put that number back in at the moment. So remember that number on the Z value under relative rotation type in 175 in the Z location so it should be straight now then click on preview animation type in rifle then click on the AO assault rifle there you go and then when it's like that what you want to do just to show you how to show you the lineup what you might have to do if you go to blueprint and it shows you the old weapon go back to, and it's out of line go back to that click on Z value type in 85 on the Z value then I'll press save and if we go back into weapon blueprint it's not holding the right weapon it doesn't matter what you can do then just come down there make sure it's on rifle and when it says left hand offset on the X axis for the left hand offset hover over there two arrows then left click and drag his arm out as far as you need him to be where he's holding it we'll say about there was good and then we'll use the Y value about there and then the Z value about there then what you do is right click on left hand offset and copy the, all the values X, Y and Z copy that open up your data table for your weapons and then click on assault rifle then click on assault rifle up here and go down to left hand location fixed right click on there and paste and now if we save that we'll save animation blueprint and now when we play the game you should see our assault rifle hand position fixed so we pick that up have a quick look as you can see it looks pretty good now the hands perfect on the assault rifle if you press right mouse button, that's what we set the, um, the weapon camera to on the Z value was 19. If you want it more to the left or right, experiment with the X and Y value. And there you go, we can now shoot our gun, that's single shot mode, that's the sound that it makes. And the weapons data table, that's single shot. Burst should have 5, there you go, 12, and if you hold it down, it should just go up to 7. If you reload. Not reloading at the moment because I've got no rounds left. 
But yeah, you get the idea. If you like the video at all, YouTube, please give the video a like. And please be sure to support the channel and turn on that notification bell. I would always appreciate the support. Until next time, YouTube, stay safe, be lucky, and look after yourselves. This is Bad Apple Gamer, and I'm signing out. Yeah.